When you've got good friends there. Hello, uh, welcome, welcome to the Jeff Show. If you don't know what this is, I literally cannot explain it another time. It is a product review show. And if you don't know when we do it, how many times do I have to tell you? We do it every single day of the year. And if you don't know which day we do it, well, I've told you this. We do it on Mondays. <sighs> Today is Monday, October 14th, and I am here... Uh, uh, as you can see, I am not here with Pete, and there, and there is a story behind that, and you're on tape. And there is a story behind that, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, you may recognize who's sitting next to me. His name is James. Uh, James I met in the Trader Joe's parking lot a few weeks back. He became then my speech, um, my personal speech therapist, and he is also my personal um, injury lawyer, and I just sort of give him a contract rate for both. And uh, James, we're glad to, we're certainly glad to have you back. Are you glad to be back? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay. Yes, I am. Uh, James apparently wasn't aware that there is a, um, a dress code on this show, and uh, he went ahead and wore whatever this is that he's wearing. And of course, um, I, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, appropriate. And James, I just want to say that out loud because sometimes uh, we have to have boundaries with the people that we work with and sometimes it's good to know those boundaries and so now you do. Um, okay, now why is Pete not here? Well, first of all, uh, let's let's tell the story. Uh, besides the fact that Pete is a cockhole, I want to literally go through this step by step. First of all, the internet did not like Pete and they were making that clearer and clearer. Somebody even last week said, we have got to get this guy under control. He is out of control. And I am in agreement. I was not happy with Pete and the way that he um, uh, 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 behaved. And, and you would agree with that, right, James? I am not happy with Pete. I thought I expressed that uh, many times in the comment section of the videos on the Internet. Um, hopefully he doesn't come back. Okay, they... Thanks, James. Uh, now, here's the real reason what happened. Um, I was about to begin to shoot the show, and Pete was not here. And so I texted to see where he was. And immediately, I, I just thought to myself, I have to screen uh, record what, this text conversation in case anything comes up. Because I just had a feeling. And whenever I have a feeling that something's about to go wrong with somebody, I start screenshotting and screen recording. Uh, recording so I can send it to all my friends and um, basically start making my case before they hear the story so that they will immediately agree with whatever I'm saying regardless of context. And that's just something that I think is really important. So I went ahead and did that. And as you can see from the conversation, uh, he quit the show um, primarily because of his uh, gorgon of a wife, um, Hath uh, Hathan, Hathan. And um, she is pure evil, and we know that she is pure evil. And I guess she felt that last week I did not get consent uh, to place my face on Pete's face during the show, which was purely um, a joke and done to, um, to enlighten our audience in terms of what you can do when wearing a mask. I'm going to go ahead and show that video uh, to prove what happened. And, um, and based on this video, James, as my personal injury lawyer, you would, would you say that he, he, he gave me adequate consent to put my face on his face in the ways that I did it? Yes, there was consent. Thank you, James. Uh, James, I just have a, I'm just curious. Do you, do you think at, we've worked about a hundred hours on my, um, on my, um, on my uh, stutter? And would you say that it is getting? Uh, would you say that it's getting better? Yes, it would. Yeah. James, I'm. <laughs> I'm just putting together a, a bit of the puzzle about uh, your ability to do your job well. And uh, that was informative. Thank you. Uh, moving on. Anyways, Pete is gone from the show. He'll be gone forever. And unfortunately, he'll never come back no matter how much he begs me to come back. I will only consider it if he asks me. And Pete, if you're watching, I want to reiterate you're a c hole. And if your stupid wife, um, Hathan, uh, will back off for two seconds and you call me and apologize profusely, I will consider 
uh, bringing you back on the show. If you agree with me about Pete's behavior, please smash that subscribe button and like buttons and go ahead and comment below about how much you hate Pete. I'd appreciate it. Also, some good news this week. The competition winner in Australia, Declan, who won an Angry King Pickled Beet hat, um, sent in a photo of himself wearing the hat. Uh, But unfortunately, he is yet another old white man with a beard uh, wearing a hat. Um, and that was very, 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 very bad news. Uh, the, the silver lining, so to speak, of that story is that he did look a lot like the artist rendering I had done of him without even knowing what he looked like. And if you put the pictures side by side, you'll see I did a fairly good job at, at drawing him without him um, w- w- and, and making it look like him. Wouldn't you, would you agree with that? Yeah. Um, so that is super cool. I also will say there was another silver lining. His girlfriend, and I can't remember her name, nor do I even try to uh, remember it, but I think it was Bowie, and we'll go ahead and say Bowie, uh, took the hat from him, put it on, took a selfie and sent it to us, and she is the first non-white old man with a beard wearing the Angry King hat. And Bowie, I want to thank you all the way from here in the United States of America. You have made this show's day. Uh, by sending in uh, that photo. And if you like Bowie in the hat, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and like buttons and comment below about how much you love uh, Bowie. Um, You know, we have been trying to get people to send in comments about what they want reviewed on this show. And this man named Justin uh, uh, Poppy so desperately was begging us to review outdoor survival equipment, and he would not shut up about it. And I just felt like if I don't do it this week, I will never hear the end of it from this idiot. Um, So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I am so excited. Uh, James, this is when you would hand me um, the product. Okay, I see you're about as good as Pete. Okay, so this is super cool. It is a fire starter in the form of a bracelet. And I love that because you can go out um, on the streets and you can be fashionable. As you walk down the streets, people are going to say, oh, I love that bracelet. You're so, uh, you're so, um, Jakur. You're so, uh, you're so cool. Jakur is a French word for of the day, very stylish. And they're going to say that about you when you wear this bracelet out. And the cool thing is, if we ever get bombed or something really bad happens and everybody is killing each other for food and you need help, um, you can find help in the form of creating your own fire. And you do this by taking the bracelet off like this and then you rub this up against this and it creates a fire. Now, I want to try it for the folks at home so they can see what it looks like. And James, if you just hold the microphone here so here... God damn it. Are you an idiot? Yeah. Hold it. And what you do is super cool. You you rub it here just to get it warmed up. And then you... There. Oh. Anyways, that was kind of cool. I thought it was going to be much cooler. It clearly is impossible to use, and if you were ever in a bad situation, this would probably actually uh, delay you enough to kill you. Um, so even so, I'm going to go ahead and recommend it because I think it looks cool, and at least at, at the worst part of it is that you could wear it around your, your arm, and it would be super fun. Um, if you like this item, use our Amazon link to buy it because you're certainly going to help me pay my bills. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and take the week off because this has been devastatingly difficult on my emotional state. And, uh, it's been incredibly hard to sit next to, uh, James and do this show. Um, and I'm not saying that I miss Peter, but, uh, um, uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and, and see you, uh, next time. Monday. Got to be with your friends for life. Oh, this is interesting. You're fired, fucker. <laughs>